The color blue is often associated with loyalty, trust, wisdom, and confidence. It's also considered to be beneficial for our mind and body and is the top of the list of people's favorite color. But have you ever seen it as a wine? Well, joining us today on the Lifestyle List is someone who has done just that. This is the champagne master for Blanc de Blue, Bob Stashak. So great to have you here with us. Thank you, Stephanie. It's good to be here. Oh, it's such a beautiful wine that you have here. It Thank is you. Blanc de Blue Cuvée Musso mm -hmm. is the world's first blue California sparkling wine. That is right. And so tell us how you created it, what inspired you, and what sets it apart in addition to its blue color. Okay, well let's go to the store. Okay. okay? And you're walking down the aisle, mm -hmm. you see all these beautiful labels in the wine section, the liquor section. Uh, you see different flavored wines, different flavored distilled spirits, even different flavored beers. Right. You say, well, I'm, I'm gonna try one of these, okay? So you, you take it home and you pop it open, you pour yourself a glass and you taste it. And you say, wow, this is really fruity or spicy or herby and my goodness it's sweet and so uh, you finish the glass and you go to the refrigerator and open up your favorite bottle of wine anyway okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's true so that is true we're going to, we're bucking the trend okay. in making Blanc de Blue we decided why not finesse this product mm -hmm. make something that's delicate elegant light and not sweet so that was the inspiration for Blanc de Blue and you said it I mean who doesn't like blue as a color so why not make it blue and make it very special wonderful you mind taking us through the process of how it's made sure let's go back in a little history here because it's a traditional method of making uh, bubbles it's a natural method okay. and it's a fermentation by yeast what we do is we um, starting with the vineyards we uh, select grapes from our vineyards to make the the base wine it's a white wine mm -hmm. and that process is complete so now we've got the still wine, but now it's time to add the bubbles. So what we do is we put that wine into a pressurized vessel. We add sugar back to it, about 25 grams, add a yeast culture, and then we seal up that tank. Okay, what happens, the fermentation takes place, produces about a percent of alcohol, but most importantly, it's producing carbon dioxide gas. Right. So in this sealed tank, we're producing the bubbles to make the sparkling wine. And then just before we bottle it, we add the essence of blueberry. Wonderful. And so it's nice and fresh. Great, well, I'm dying to try it, shall okay. we? Okay, yeah, let's go. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's wonderful. So tell me what I'm experiencing here. Okay, so the first thing you get is the flavor of the, the wine and the processing. The idea behind the traditional processing, what we call the Charmat process, mm -hmm. is you get a little bit of yeastiness. You get kind of like a pastry or bread-like character. Right, I didn't taste that. And that hits you up front. You start to taste the wine. You can tell that it's a wine product. But what comes at the very end of the palate is the blueberry essence. It's not overpowering, and certainly the, the wine is not sweet. In fact, we classify it as a brut, which means dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I can definitely taste the hint of blueberry. Mm -hmm. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really drinkable. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so the idea is that after you have one glass, you're going to pour another one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Wonderful. So if we're having wine, what mm -hmm. cuisine would pair well with this? What's nice about a light sparkling wine like Blanc de Blue is you've got the crisp acidity and you've got the carbon dioxide bubbles and it's dry. This tends to refresh and cleanse the palate. So it's going to go with a lot of different cuisine, like grilled chicken mm -hmm. as an example, or uh, pasta. Pasta Primavera, you know, lighter fare, uh, works great with cheeses and, and nuts. So you've got a lot of different options. So we ask, you know, people to experiment. Sure. Try it with anything. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Wonderful. Well, I'll, I'll definitely give it a shot. Great. <laughs> Now, um, since it also pairs well with, with cuisine, what kind of events are people using this for to pair with? Lots of different events. Of course, uh, weddings, uh -huh. uh, bridal showers, um, uh, gender reveal oh, is it, really great. You know, the, the, the mother-to-be is going to have a boy. That's perfect. Very okay, if, even if she's having a girl, pink cupcakes out front, uh -huh. Blanc de Blue's in the kitchen. So as a party planner, this gives me lots of good ideas. I'm really excited to try it out mm -hmm. at some of my events as well. Where can we go to pick this up? Well, you know, we've got good distribution on this across the United States, so you should be able to get it in your favorite store. If you don't find it there, we've got a great website, BlancDeBlueUSA.com, or you can use a store locator on the web to find our, our product. Oh, easy enough. Great. And I see you have two different sizes here. Yes, we've got the regular 750s, but we also got the, the, the small 187s uh, on premise accounts like this for single serve but uh, go ahead and pack that in your, your picnic basket it's oh, a gosh. perfect size yeah. I for sure will it's super cute love it thank you Bob for joining us today my pleasure Stephanie thank you